feel like waiting too much longer here. So this will be part three of uh, the LN Noir five-star playthrough. The first part, we handled the entire patrol desk, and now we are going to take it case by case. Here in part three, this is going to be the console's car. Uh, for those who've played the older version of L.A. Noir, the console's car um, was a DLC edition. Uh, I did spend quite a bit of money on this game back in the day, and uh, I did have all the DLC, which I would have highly recommended. So getting this remastered version with everything in it is pretty sweet, along with the extra editions. I don't know this, or at some point if I'm going to take a run for the 100 collect all the movie reels and all the records and everything that's in this game so we'll see about that let me give it a couple more minutes Start the load. Mm -hmm. The console's car. Okay, we're gonna keep this short. I'm already late for the DA. First up, Phelps, Bukowski. We got a report of a brand new Packard abandoned in an empty lot off 2nd Street between Olive and Grand. PR is one Oswald Jacobs says the vehicle was dumped in his backyard. There's a patrolman on site. Get down there and see what you can turn up. Any questions? Good, get going. I'm gonna change his suit. You're not wearing the same flipping thing. You better go earn our pathetic wages. Do it just yet, man. Rimsky, O'Halloran, intelligence. Intelligence has information on a stolen car racket. An abandoned vehicle. We catch all the good ones, huh, Phelps? Where are my suits? Sounds like there's more to oh, it than I got that. more than one. Nobody dumps a shiny new Packard unless they borrowed it without asking. You don't say. You're on fire today, Einstein. Very funny. <laughs> Come on, my intense protege. Let's go. I don't understand. He wants a five-star guy. Gonna wear the same stupid-looking brown suit today? Okay, well, we're already ready to go to Jacob's backyard. I'm gonna try this one more time. You fucking with me. Oh. What? What? There we are. I was gonna say. Oh, definitely not that one. Hmm. You hear about Adrian? The broad in Seattle threw him out. The wife says she's gonna take him back. Women generally show more compassion. What are you talking about? Adrian dumped on her. He was humping the secretary. Margaret should show some pride. Pride comes before a fall, Bukowski. Talking from experience. Oh, 
Yeah, they would be up there. Next left. Eleven K responding. Go ahead. Eleven K citizen reports a two eleven in progress at four thirty seven Eighth Street at the Bristol. Suspects are linked with previous two elevens. Eleven K okay. code three. Can drop that money one more time and you're a goner. Sorry, Mister. It's just my hands are shaking. Shut up. Get the money in the bag. Yes. Yes, sir. Hurry the hell up, will you? Come on. It's goddamn cops. Careful! He's got a gun! This fuck. fuck. Every man for himself! Suicide doors on this. My partner's silent throughout this whole thing. Fuck, I got a good piece of it. Oh, is he wrecked? Stop here! They're making a break for it on foot. Reinforcements are on the way. Cease and desist. Oh shit, he's definitely dead. Shoot at a cop. Well, MTD on their asses. Car 11K to KGPL. Bristol Hotel 211 is code 4. We need a corner. Please be advised, code 4 at the Bristol Hotel on 8th Street. Code 4. Now, let's get to our destination. Officer Houlihan. Cars down the alleyway, detectives. Mm. We got a call about an abandoned vehicle? Yes, sir. The car has flags. Might be some kind of diplomatic vehicle. Has anyone touched this vehicle since you arrived? No. And that Jacob's bird over there was on station before I got here. We'll talk with him in a moment. 
Give us some time to look the place over. Sure, take your time. He's a sore-headed old son of a bitch anyway. Fun. Take a look at the registration. It's owned by the Indian Embassy. Empty. What's going on around out there? No license plate. Tire missing. Stealing the wheels is for amateurs. A car ring would have stripped it in a warehouse. I must have taken the flag as a souvenir. Can't have any street value. Combination wrench. Must have removed the wheel lugs. Oswald Jacobs? That's right. What exactly whoa, happened whoa, here, Mr. Here. Jacobs? Last night, I was looking out of my window. I like to keep an eye on what's going on. I can understand that. You see this empty lot? Damn kids play stickball here. Always breaking my windows. Always asking for their ball back. Can we get back to the car, Mr. Jacobs? Don't be impatient, Sonny. Anyways, last night, I see this brand spanking new Packard up on brick. Did you see who stole the Packard? Hell yes, I did. I saw three goddamn Mexicans going to work on it. Can you tell us what they were doing? Using the headlights of an old Ford so they could strip the thing. I yelled out to them, I'll call the cops. So they loaded up their car and drove off, tooting and hollering and yelling obscenities at me in Mexican. You speak Spanish, sir? No, I do not. After the uh, Mexicans left, you didn't go anywhere near the car? After I scared them off? No, I didn't go anywhere near that car. You went out to the car. Once they were gone, you had to take a look for yourself. I was curious. Ain't a law against that. So what if I took a look around that car? You can't be accusing me of nothing. Tell me about the car they were driving. It was an old Ford. I didn't catch the license number. You look like the kind of guy who notices details. You're right there. The car was old, but it looked brand new. Candy apple red pink job stands out a mile. What exactly did you see them take? They was working on the tires. That's all that was took. Right. So what did you take, Jacobs? Do you want my partner to pat you down? I found a notebook in the glove compartment. I was going to show you. It's on the chair on my porch. Thank you for your help, Mr. Jacobs. You can speak to Officer Thibault about signing a formal statement. When you get the car out of the way, maybe you could come back and do something about those kids. Well, how about we bring you an umpire's mask?
Phelps, one, two, four, seven. Oh, I almost forgot that you? book he was talking about. Could you run the name Dewey Brothers? Possibly a dealership or karma shop. One moment. Dewey Brothers Packard Dealership, 629 Figueroa Street. Got it. Thanks for your help. Better go over here and grab this. This is a little book that he was reading. What he took out of the car. Had to go all bad cop to get him to talk about it. Juan Francisco Valdez. Okay, so we have the owner of the vehicle. A degenerate. I'll run John Madsen by R&I. Contact details on a William Dewey. This looks like business rather than pleasure. Phelps, badge 1247. How could I help, Detective? Can you put me through to Michigan 2458, please? Connecting you now. Hello, can I help you? LAPD, ma'am. Can I speak to John Madsen, please? He's at school, officer. Uh, what's this about? Is he in trouble? How old is your boy, ma'am? Wrong person, Madsen. Sorry to disturb you. Oh, the plot. Are there any messages for me? There's just one message for you, Detective. A four-door Packard diplomatic license number, Paul Robert 706, was reported missing this morning by Juan Francisco Valdez. Could you have him brought in? He's already here at Central, Detective. He's demanding an audience, calls it. <laughs> Thanks. Can you get a message to Captain Leary? Tell him we'll be in as soon as we can. Thanks, ma'am. Can you cordon off this lot until we have the vehicle impounded? Yes, sir, Detective. We'll follow up on the owner. Get a statement from Jacobs, and I'll read your report back at the station. This is a crime scene. All of you move along. Show's over. Keep moving, all of you. Did that taste funny to you? That's the guy from the papers. Can you drive to this one? This has got to be the 50th abandoned vehicle call we've caught this year. One more and I'm going to go crazy. Not your favorite cases? Are you kidding me? This is barely even police work. All the bad guys in this city, we get lumped with the ones who can't even be bothered to keep what they steal. Juan Francisco Valdez in for questioning. Sure do, Phelps. Your bird's an interview, too. And get this, he's wearing gloves and doing his best not to touch anything. Can you beat that? <laughs> Sounds like we don't want to keep this guy waiting. It's this way. About time. 
Are you the senior officer I requested? I'm Detective Phelps, and this is Detective Bukowski. Have you any idea how long I've been waiting to speak with you? I am needed back at the consulate, and you keep me here like a common criminal. All right, friend. Let's take a deep breath and start all over again. Mr. Valdez. Counsel General. I insist on my full title. Where did you purchase the car? My secretary and driver arranged the purchase. A disreputable place, a Dewey Brothers by name. As soon as I can have it arranged, I will have my Hispano Suiza brought up from Buenos Aires. I bought a Packard, Valez. A snob like you doesn't drive an American car. I want answers or I'll smack you around the teeth. William Dewey offered me a substantial bribe to make a purchase at his establishment. It is not unusual to make this kind of transaction in the civil service. Oh, tell that to the Argentine taxpayers. Consul General, we have located your car. Can you tell us how it was stolen? It must have been stolen from the consul garage. Terribly inconvenient, of course. I want the perpetrator soundly flogged. Unfortunately, we don't do that here, Your Worship. You have a pretty good idea who stole the car, don't you, Consul General? Are you going to tell me, or do I shake it out of you? There's no call for violence. I suspect a disgruntled boy from the car dealership. You have a name for this kid? Gabriel, like the Archangel. I have no surname. So tell us about this kid, Gabriel. You had a run-in with him? Mecanico. A presumptuous young man who did not know his place. He presumed to ask me questions. But we do a lot of presuming here in the United States, Consul General. It comes with the turf. You fuck young boys, Valdez. Are you a madman? This will cause an international incident. Danny, Ben, Miguel, Tristan, and Teddy. Full lips. Ring any bells? I'm sure we can come to some arrangement. Gabriel, spill it. A beautiful but impertinent boy. I mentioned rendezvous and the young man went quite insane. I thought he was going to kill me. I was prepared to pay. We'll be in touch, Consul General. Yeah, I'm thinking of moving up to a 45. I want to stop him with one round. Finished with Valdez. Thank God. I'll get rid of him in a couple of hours. Mr. Valdez moves in some peculiar circles for an international bon vivant. Ah, oh, English, please. See, this is why nobody invites you out for drinks. It's just very industrious of him to be so involved in matters of consular transportation. All right, you're making it worse now. I think what you're trying to say is that lover boy in there is as full of crap as a Christmas goose. That as well. All units, shots fired, off needs help. Chateau and Valencia. Chateau and Valencia. Shots fired. Options are good to have a crew three
Shots fired off speeds help. Chateau and Valencia. Chateau and Valencia. Shots fired off speeds help. Unit to handle code three identified. Car 11K, we'll handle the help call. Go ahead, KGPL. 11K. I see you motherfuckers. Come on up here and get us. What is all this? Traffic stop from hell. Prowling unit pulls these guys over. Finds a trunk full of hardware like you wouldn't believe. They lose. Bullets start flying. And they snatch up the guns and one of the cops. Head to high ground and make their stand. And the officer? Up there. Still alive, we think. Who knows for how long. We'll keep him busy if you can find a way up, sir. Throw out the guns. This is crazy. Oof. That's a good night. Surprised the one on the chest didn't take him down. 11K. I've been involved in a shooting. It's code four here, but suspects are down, and I need an ambulance at Chateau and Valencia. Also notify detective headquarters. I'll need the coroner. My partner and I are okay. 11K, Roger on the ambulance and coroner. Detective headquarters will be notified. All units, 11K reports. Code four on the shooting. You Chateau can drive. Valencia. Yeah, code four. Yeah, after that bullshit, he can definitely drive. That is no joke. Yeah, no, I should have handled both of those guys from behind cover. It's almost impossible. It seemed like bullets were starting to come from everywhere, and I didn't really have cover. That car was just getting tore up. Don't tell me, let me guess. You were making your way past the lot, caught sight of the new model four door and couldn't help yourself. You could see yourself in that car and just had to take a closer look. Well, I can't say as I blame you. <laughs> LAPD, Mac, we'd like to speak with the owner. That's me, William Dewey, proprietor at your service. We're investigating the theft of a Packard belonging to the Argentine embassy. Are you missing a combination wrench? I don't know, detective, but I know how we can find out. Follow me. We keep all our tools in here. Mind if we look around? Be my guest. You sure you guys aren't interested in a new car, huh? Maybe a used car. I have some nice used cars for guys in your wage bracket. Why don't you give us some alone time, Dewey? Sell some cars or whatever it is that you do here.
one left. Gabriel Delgado is missing a three-quarter. No good. We need diplomatic plates. If you don't mind, we have a few questions. Packards are great cars, but this doesn't look like the kind of place favored by foreign embassies. How do you know Valdez? I don't know Valdez. The embassy bought the car. All I know is he must know a quality car when he sees one. And I know a shyster when I see one. You and Valdez are in this together. Me and Valdez? I hardly know him. Valdez wouldn't wipe his shoes with me. We've talked to Valdez. He was very obliging. He told us all about the arrangement the two of you had, and now quit wasting our time. Okay. So I met Valdez in a bar. We cut a deal, and he bought the car through the embassy. I cut him some change on the side. It happens all the time. Where can we find Delgado? I don't know. He sure as hell isn't here. Address, Dewey, or my partner shoves your head in a car door. Okay, all right. Apartment 3, 103 Hill Street. And tell him from me, if he ever shows his face around here again, I'm going to kick his butt from here to kingdom come. A wrench from this dealership was used to strip the wheels from a Packard last night, Mr. Dewey. A couple of Hispanics were seen taking parts. We've had a spate of thefts ourselves. Comes with the location. Even bastards to steal anything the minute your back is turned. What are you hiding, Dewey? Spill it! You don't want the LAPD getting too interested in this place. So I hire a few illegals. It's cheaper than hiring returning GIs, and they have less attitude. Downside is... They're a little light-fingered. Thank you for your help, Mr. Dewey. No problem. God damn that kid. I'm just an honest car salesman. Seems like you just don't know who you can trust these days. Go into movies, Dewey. You're missing your calling. Time to visit Gabriel <laughs> Delgado. See how good his excuse is. Now, I've never been in here. I don't know why. Even an option. Is there something in here for him? There's a phone, I suppose, if I need to make a call. You're behind the wheel. You read this story in the Examiner about the Navy developing three-dimensional movies? What's a dimension? You know, like a graph. Vertical axis is Y and horizontal is X. Well, that's clear as mud. Third dimension would be Z. So things would be popping out of the screen. That's ridiculous. You'd scare people out of the theater. God's name would want that. I don't know. People scoffed at the idea of hockey using color, and look what we have now. Okay, let's see what Gabriel has to say for himself. I just hope our Archangel hasn't already flown. talking about on the radio. What the hell is this another accommodation?
yet. LAPD, ma'am. We're looking for Gabriel Delgado. Gabriel? We're from the police. Policia, you understand? Yes, I understand. Could you come inside? What is your name? Ana Rodriguez. Is Gabriel Delgado here, Ms. Rodriguez? No. What do you want with Gabriel? Is he in trouble? Stay where you are, Miss Rodriguez. We need to take a look around. But he is not here. I have told you. Check out the surrounds. I'll stay with the broad. So how far along are you, Anna? <laughs> Souvenirs are a dumb right. move. So how's it going to be when you go into labor and he's not around? You are wrong about Gabriel. He will be a good father. Already he works hard to provide for us. Unless you help us here, Anna, your little one won't be seen. It's difficult to tell whether it's the suspect time. vehicle from the scene. Huh. Certainly Gabriel's pride and joy. Incidental. Serving breakfast for two, Anna? You should have cleared up. like Valdez gets his wheel back. Bingo. Diplomatic license plates. You're in serious trouble, Miss Rodriguez. But Gabriel is not here. I have done nothing wrong. Why did he steal the car, Anna? The customer insulted him. He has his honor, no? His honor, Anna? He said Dewey's friend tried to make a woman out of him. He no longer respects this man, Dewey. He took the car to show this maricón that he is a man. Tell us the truth, Anna. Has Gabriel been here? I haven't seen him for at least three nights. You keep lying to me, and I'll send you and your baby to jail. He lives here, but he hasn't come home. Enough, Anna. There are signs all over this place that he's been back. He was here last night. I have never seen him so angry. He went out to his shed and put some things in it. I don't know what and I don't want to know. I love him. We found a license plate matching our stolen vehicle in the shed. Add in the assortment of parts, and we can make Gabriel for a dozen other thefts. It's time to get serious, Anna. You must ask these questions of Gabriel. I know nothing of these car parts. Then tell us where he is! If your baby is born in prison, Anna, the corrections officers will take it from you. You will see your son or daughter through a metal grate for half an hour a week. The start line is on 1st and Santa Fe. 
There is a spillway under the bridge that leads to the river. Many policia have wrecked trying to follow him. We will put in a good word for you, Anna. As far as we're concerned, this sits with Gabriel. Start line? That sounds like a street race to me. It's gotten out of hand this last year. No wonder Delgado has such an eye for fine automobiles. We know where the kid is. Let's go stop these clowns and get them off the streets. What kind of man leaves his pregnant girlfriend at home while he goes off to play cars? Pregnant girlfriends aren't always a barrel of laughs. Everyone needs to let off a little steam. Some guys wouldn't come back home at all. Are you talking? I remember correctly. It'll be a long... So we should start immediately here on first. From experience? Quick as we shut one of these races down, another one springs up somewhere else. Kids used to steal cars to sell them. Now they just want to wrap them around a lamppost. The next 16 year old I have to peel off the sidewalk, you're calling the mother. I've had enough of those to last me a lifetime. There's the red Ford. That's Delgado right there. Quick! They're getting away! Phelps, 1247. Requesting assistance at First and Santa Fe. Reports of an illegal street race. Stay on Delgado. He's getting away! You. Gonna lose him! Delgado is our boy, forget the others. Man, I hope that doesn't get pinned on me. Step on it, Phelps, take him out. Really? Lay into his wheel arches, come on. Kid in a red God damn it, Cole, hold it steady. Enough games, Phelps. Take this guy out. Gabriel Delgado, you you're under arrest for Grand Theft Auto. Fuck you, puto! You should speak to the maricón! Valdez, I showed him! Now who's a man? I should have burned his fucking car!
You got a foreign dignitary out it as a fruit and a kitty raper, a car dealer we're gonna let slide for the kickbacks, and a street punk car thief who sure as hell won't be taking liberties with other people's autos again anytime soon. That, Detective Phelps, is not a bad haul. You keep your chin low and your hands high, and you keep bringing me clearances just like that one. That's textbook policing, and we need more of it in this department. You have any plans for weekend liberty, Jack? My sisters have been working in Los Angeles in a bomber factory. They're coming down to visit. I'm meeting them at the station at 6. Good for you, Jack. Are they cute? They're my sisters, Hank. Attention! Final inspection before liberty. Good job, Kelso. Are we going somewhere, gentlemen? Full inspection. It had better be exceptional if any of you want liberty this weekend. Kelso, this carbine. The bore is dirty. No, it isn't. Are you arguing with me, Kelso? Do what you need to do, Sergeant. You know the bore is immaculate. Weekend liberty canceled. Two-day field drill. Clean this rifle. No. Do you know the penalty for insubordination, Kelso? Jack, don't do it. Forget him, Hank. He doesn't have what it takes. Are you two finished? Are you going to clean this rifle? No, Sergeant. Cole is right. I'm going to stop playing games and join a rifle company and fight the real enemy. And with that... And the continent's gone. Next time, there's Maiden.